Let's make a poet shirt. I'm going to be using these thrifted cherub printed curtains for fabric, as well as this vintage see and sew pattern that I got from a yard sale. But I'll be using a self-drafted pattern for the collar and nixing the belt completely. I cut all the pattern pieces out, making sure that the print was facing upright on all of them. Then I transferred all of my markings and attached interfacing to the cuffs, collar, and neckline facing. Using the stitching line provided on the pattern piece, I sewed the facing to the front with the right sides together, slashed it down the center, turned the facing to the inside, and top stitched it as it was marked. I had a very rough time trying to transfer the markings onto the shitty gray interfacing, so it's a little rough and puckered toward the bottom, but it'll do. I then sewed the front to the back at the shoulder seams and serged the edges to finish them. Moving on to the collar, I turned in the neckline seam allowance on the interfaced collar piece, and then sewed the two pieces together on the long and short ends. Now, I self-drafted this collar about a year ago, and when I attached it to the neckline, I had to slash and stretch the neckline to get it to fit right. And none of the markings match, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but I ended up tacking down the collar by hand so I had more control when positioning the folded edge over the stitching line. And, um, it's passable, right? I think it's passable meaning that we're passing this step and we're moving on to the sleeves. I ran two rows of gathering stitches between the notches and gathered the sleeves to fit the armhole edge. After stitching it down, I surged the edge to finish it and pressed it toward the sleeve. I then sewed and surged the underarm and side seams, which are done in one continuous seam. Once that was done, I cut and sewed the slit in the bottom of the sleeve and gathered the edge so I could match it to the cuff. Similar to the collar, I pressed the seam allowance down on one edge, then sewed the cuff to the sleeve edge and hand sewed the pressed edge atop the seam. I then sewed on the button and button hole to finish off the cuff. For the hem, to make things easy, I surged the bottom edge and just pressed it up by an inch and a half. At this point, the shirt was technically done, but it didn't feel done. It was missing something, and after a quick think, I realized what that something was. Ruffles. Or rather, ruffle, because there was only one of them. I cut a wide strip of fabric and turned in all of the edges but one to finish them. Then I gathered the unfinished edge so it matched the neckline, turned that raw edge in, and hand sewed it in place. After removing the gathering stitches from the ruffle, I was finished. Even if this print and color aren't my usual style, I really like how this turned out, and the fabric is super breathable which makes it perfect for summer. Thanks for watching.